Hi, welcome to Nightly News. I'm Stephen Harrison, and tonight we'll be talking about internet privacy and whether or not the federal government should be able to access private resources such as emails, Facebook accounts, etc. We'll be discussing the issue of internet privacy and whether or not the federal government should be able to access personal information through private users and small businesses. We have an expert here with us, Keen Martinez, and we'll be asking him a few questions on his opinion of this issue. Okay, on today's broadcast, schools are invading students' pri privacy by spying on them through computers that they are given after school hours. Students can get to take students get to take the computer home and are unaware that administrators can access their computer and see them through photo booth. This is an invasion of privacy because students could change it for change in front of the webcams or be doing personal things online which they would not want anyone else to see. Also, teachers are making fake Facebook, Instagram, and Vine accounts to check in on students and make sure there is nothing inappropriate. This violates Facebook terms and conditions and is identity fraud. Checking in on students' personal life is wrong because it's not school and related and students should be allowed to do what they want out of school hours. It is the parents' job to keep them safe, not school staff. Students are getting suspended or in trouble because of the things they post, unaware that they are being watched by school administrators. So, Keenan, dealing with uh, students after school hours, how do you think that should be uh, handled? Well, I think it's the parents' job. Not The school doesn't have to babysit them. It's not their responsibility to watch over them 24-7. And the parents should be the ones who, like, see if they're doing stuff right, telling them to do their schoolwork, telling them not to, what, do bad stuff on the computer. And the school, like, shouldn't be responsible for that. So that's what I think about that, Steve. All right. Today we're going to interview Taylor Martinez. And... We're going to ask him what's his opinion on internet privacy. So, Taylor, do you think it's okay for the federal government to go into your email, Facebook, etc., and access your personal information? I think it's information? a good idea that they could access our email accounts or Facebook, MySpaces, Twitter accounts, whatever they can do to help out our country. Just because if they need to back up information or look deep into someone to see if they need to try to figure out stuff about them to see if they've done anything wrong, maybe something that has to do with the courthouses or anything that has to do with trial. They could go back in there and buy information about them and just see what's really going on and to see if they're lying, to see if they're just telling the truth. So I think it's a really good idea, but I also think the people that disagree with them are the people that have done bad stuff and that have done wrote bad stuff in the email, so I do, I agree with it, because I haven't done anything bad. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, CISPA, the bill was just passed a few hours ago. Keen, what do you think about this topic? Well, the stated aim of the bill is to help the U.S. government investigate the cyber threats and ensure the security of networks against cyber attacks. Yeah, this is a very controversial topic in D.C. right now. I'm sure there is going to be protests by people because they had trust in their email carrier about protecting their privacy, but under CISPA, their email carrier does not have to carry their end of the deal of terms and conditions dealing with privacy. So, whatever you think is private is not. For example, once you hit send on an email or Facebook message, etc., it is now not private be between you and whom you are talking to. It seems the only way you can have a con con conversation in private is in person. <laughs> Alright, thank you for your opinion on that. Um, I bet all you were thinking out there, how could this bill do any good? Well, CISPA is good because normally, normally, we will have to wait for an internet attack to happen in order for us to penalize them for doing something wrong. 
but was assist by companies and the federal government are capable capable of preventing attacks before they like actually happen. We're at war online with Iran, North Korea, and Russia are the sources of sustained attacks on our government and our economy. They steal from us. They disrupt our operations. Even though they are stealing from us, they never mean like we're going to go to war. We need to pass along warnings before it's too late. And that means we need legislation to prevent trial lawyers from making a mess of all of this. So that's why it's time to pass this spot. Thank you for joining us tonight. Join us tomorrow night and see what we have in store tomorrow. Stay Thank classy. You. <laughs> <laughs>